Hello to my NHCBC family, and Mr. Foshy says hello everybody. Yeah, he ain't the brightest uh, cat in the house, that's for sure, and he has insisted upon being a pump with us today for our hymn of the week. At some point, I am going to have to kick him out, um, but uh, we'll see if he jumps back on my lap, because most likely he will. So this week's hymn of the week is How Firm a Foundation. It was written about the same time as Blessed Be the Tie That Binds, which was our hymn of the week last week. Um, it was also written by an English Baptist minister, like the Bus Be the Ties. It was written by John Rippon, and actually not Rippon, um, he was the publisher. And, okay, this is impossible with you here. Go away. All right, back to how from a foundation. Um, he was a publisher and he published a book called A Selection of Hymns from the Best Authors. And it was really popular. It, it was um, printed several times. Um, the actual composer is kind of a mystery. Um, all that's mentioned is the letter K. And there was a couple of folks around that time that were affiliated with Rippon that it could be possibly, could be either of them. Um, but in the end, it really doesn't matter. Back then, um, penmanship and author who was in charge really didn't matter much. Um, so, but the intriguing part is the history of this tune after it was published. It was really, really popular. Um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, it's one of his favorites. Andrew Jackson requested for it to be sung on his deathbed. And uh, Robert E. Lee requested it to be sung on his funeral. Um, and for my history, history buffs, which as you know me, I love history. Um, it was sung, on, uh, sung by soldiers on Christmas Eve on 1898. Um, this is during the Spanish-American War, and it was uh, sung by the entire U.S. Army Corps near Havana, Cuba. And what's interesting about this, and you're just going to have to deal with my like history geeking out, is that this is right off the heels of the Civil War, and How From a Foundation was really popular both in the North and the South. And for them to come together after the Civil War and the entire Army Corps, which was made up of soldiers from both the North and the South, to come together and sing it, um, it was really a, a beautiful moment. Um, which for me, it also, it kind of deepens our connection to the Sunday scripture, which is from 1 Peter. And Peter proclaims that we were once the ones who rejected Christ, and now he is the one, the cornerstone that our church is built upon. You're back. I knew you would be. And so I think it's kind of interesting where division becomes unity through Christ. It's we've seen it over and over again in history. And these tunes and this lyrics are like the mortar for our church's edifice. And I just think that's really neat. So, no more cats. Go away. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Let's dive into how from a foundation with a cat at some point, I'm sure. All right. So, we're going to start with the soprano line. Okay. We're looking at verse one. I think this Sunday I will be doing a dot a half step. Um... I believe, um, but we'll be doing verses one and four, and I'll talk about talk about why one and four are really important. You can't have one without the other. So let's be all sopranos, shall we? How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith. It is excellent word. What more can he? Then to you he has said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. All right, we are going to go now into the alto part, but the altos, we're going to work a ditty. And it's a, t it's a really cute ditty, but it can be tough because we have a descending fourth, meaning that there are four notes and a cat. <laughs> this is going to be the cat video, I think. Uh, it has a descending fourth, which can be tough. So it's at the end of every phrase of, of the Lord, and he has said. Of the Lord, he has said. Thank you. So we're going to sing, of the Lord, he has said, twice through. Okay, we're going to sing it twice through. Of the Lord, he has said. Let's do it again. Of the Lord, he has said. So when we get to that part in the first uh, stanza and in the third stanza, you'll be a little bit more prepared because it can be kind of hard to juggle that perfect fourth going down. All right, let's be altos and Matt will take care of the dumb cat. All right, here we go, altos. And gents, of course, you can sing along. 
to play both the alto and soprano part, but I highly suggest everybody sing the alto part. Now we go to the tenor line, and I just have a feeling once again that there was a tenor involved in the writing of this hymn because it's like, not like last week's hymn of the week, which was so weird. This one is really nice. All right, so let's be all tenors. I am gonna sing it just down the octave where it's correct. Um, the low E flats will rumble. He'll take care of them. All right? Take it when it's, we can get it, right, it's weird tenors? In that it's normal. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you be a tenor, I'll be an alto. Okay. All right, so ladies, I'll be altos, gentlemen, be all tenors. And what's nice, I don't know if you felt this way, it's very easy to sing. It's, it's a singable song. It's, a, it's singable, a singable tenor part. It's a singable tenor part, and it's not too high on a bass's range whatsoever. Yeah, it's not crazy. No, it isn't. It's easy, easy. All right, here we go. Base it out. Base it out. Base it out. It's very predictable, so mm -hmm. very sight readable for many of you. All right, here we go. of the copy I'm going to give to you has it, but there actually is a men's de VC where there's an A flat. So if this is my staff, here's my lines, my space. Yes, that though. Yeah. Oh. And then there's also the E flat, which is up here. So for my baritones, if you want to go to the E flat, feel free to, which means that you don't change at all. So you would sing, uh, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. So choose a note, any note, I just don't. make sure it fits. All right, uh, I'm guessing you want to be a bass. Oh, whatever. All right, you can be a bass, I'll be an alto. I'll do what you tell me to and, do. This is your show. And, and Foster's, Foster's is going, will sing tenor. He'll sing tenor, yes, yes, absolutely. I don't think he's smart enough to be a tenor, I though. don't think he is. No. He's not smart enough to be much of anything other than a lap cat. No, no, so. Okay, here we go. Hello, firm of foundation, you say.
verse one ends with a question. It is, so it asks, where is your faith and what more do you need? And it couples well with verse four because verse four answers verse one. And verse four, even though it sounds like it has bad English because there's a lot of repetition, it says, I will not, I will not, and I'll never, no, never forsake. Um, I, it, because it answers and it's really like more of a, a stance in the ground like, no, I am going to have faith and this is where it lies. It lies on that cornerstone. So let's sing verse four, um, the soul that on Jesus leaned for repose. And you can be a tenor and I'll be a soprano this time. Okay. Okay. I'll do my best. All right. Alrighty. We gotta try again? Yeah, I gotta try again. I'm sorry. I it's the words. I don't know where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. And. The soul that on Jesus of me for repose, I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul through all hell should endeavor to shake. Bad. It's hard. He didn't practice verse no, four. I, I surprised yeah, him with yeah, yeah. that. So, but that's why verse one and four are so important. You can't have one without the other. And I kind of liked having them back to back because there you have that question answer um, lyric going on. So, um, would you please join me in prayer? Strong and divine father and mother, your presence nurtures us and invites us to look beyond divisions and to see the foundation that you have gifted us. The rock of our salvation that your children stand upon is forever and will not crumble no matter what the enemy does or says, for you have already won through the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. Remind us this day and the days that follow that when we are grounded in your eternal holy light, that we can see each other no matter how dark the world may seem. In the name of the one who our identity is in, amen. Thank you all, and I will see you on Sunday. And Fosters will not be in the live stream. That's just not good at all. So take care.